Hey kids, flexing teacher Weber here. Hope things are going well. Um, I'm doing well, same as always. Um, we've been studying algebra and solving equations. And yesterday I had you do uh, some work where you were solving equations by using division. Uh, today I'm going to have you do some work where you're solving equations by using multiplication. I gave you a bunch of notes and show me that have some examples. I'm going to go through a couple of those examples right now just to give you a little more detail. So in those notes, I'm going to flip over. Uh, the first example is uh, the variable x divided by 18 equals negative 2. Now, um, since this is a division question, we always use the opposite operation to solve them. So I find the variable. The variable is x, and that means divide by 18. Um, one thing that maybe isn't made clear, as we talked about this the other day, when you have a, a variable and there's no coefficient or no number in front of that variable, there's actually a number there. So even though we don't see it, there's actually a 1 there. So if we want, we can think of that as 1 18th x equals negative 2, or x divided by 18 equals negative 2. It's the same thing. Um, we use the same process to solve as we did yesterday. We always do the opposite operation of what is attached to the variable. In this case, the variable is divide by 18, so to solve this, we're going to do the opposite of divide by 18, which is multiply by 18. Now, it's important you show that multiplication right beside the variable. And the way we show that multiplication is by using parentheses. So that's going to be multiply by 18. If I do it on that side of the equal sign, I have to do it on this side of the equal sign. So that means multiply by 18. Now, let's see what's left on both sides of the equal sign. On the side with the variable, I have a, a fraction with an 18 on top and an 18 on the bottom. And those really just divide and cancel each other out, and you're left with 1x, which is exactly what you want to get. On the other side, negative 2 multiplied by 18 is negative 36. And you're done. You have the value of 1x is equal to negative 36. Um, and remember, 1x is the same as just saying x equals negative 36. That's how you do all these. Now, there are little variations. I'm going to flip over to example number two. Um, negative y over 14 equals 12. Remember, even though there's no variable, that's like a negative 1y. Okay. Um, to solve this, since it's divide by 14, you're going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 14. So I'll do times 14 there and times 14 there. Um, on this side of the equal sign, the 14 and the 14 divide out, and I'm left with negative 1y. On the other side of the equal sign, I have to do 12 times 14. Well, I'm going to break up the 14 into 10 and 4, and I'm going to say 12 times 10 is 120, and 12 times 4 is 48, and together that makes 168. Now I'm not done yet because I only have the value of negative 1y. So now I have to use what I learned yesterday. Since I have negative 1 multiplied by y, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And I'm going to get that uh, y equals negative 168. So kids, it's the same process as always. You do the opposite operation to both sides of the equal sign. Uh, give this a try on the slow skier assignment. And uh, I think I'm going to add another video with just a couple other examples as well. Keep on flexing and uh, I'll talk to you soon.